Hi! Today we're talking about and playing the Yamaha Russ Miller Groove Wedge. Now if you're here, you probably already know what it is, what it's supposed to do and all this and all that. So what I'd like to do today is clear up a couple of misconceptions about it and offer my take on why I think it's a useful piece of gear. So, misconception number one. The sound you get from the Yamaha Groove Wedge is going to be significantly different and louder than the sound you get without it. Now, at least with my setup, this is simply not the case. And uh, as you'll be able to hear in a bit, uh, the sound is quite similar to the one you get without the wedge. Misconception number two, and this isn't really a misconception, but please humor me, is uh, most people I see using the Groove Wedge uh, attached it to a 14 inch snare, while that's, uh, in my experience, uh, the place where it's least effective and it makes the least difference. So then, why do I still have mine and why haven't I sold it already for the exorbitant prices it goes for on eBay? And so we get to the main point. The Groove Wedge is extremely convenient. For two main reasons. First off, uh, you can hold a stick like this. Rather than like this. And then uh, on smaller drums, uh, like 12, 13 inch snare drums, it gives you a much wider sweet spot to get a good click sound. And here's the demo comparing the click you get from the Groove Wedge with a 13 inch 1.6 mm triple flanged hoop, a 14 inch 1.6 mm triple flanged hoop, and a 3 mm aluminum die cast hoop.
And so that was it. So if you like this video, please click like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, check out my other videos and let me know in the comment why you haven't sold your Groove Wedge for the exorbitant prices it goes for on eBay. Thanks, see you next time.